I'm Mrs. Kirk. I'm Maxwell. And I'm Dylan. Today we are going to learn about the importance of respect. But what does respect mean? Respect means being thoughtful, considerate of other people's feelings. Respect means behaving in a polite way towards others around you. There are many different ways in which a person can show respect and good manners. You could greet someone when they enter a room. You could speak politely to others when having a conversation. You could hold open a door for someone else. You could remember to say please and thank you. However, it is very easy to disrespect someone, and people often forget to use these very simple manners, just like Mr. Rude. Meet Mr. Rude. He's very rude. He's very, very rude. He's very worse than rude. He's extraordinary rude. No, no! When you meet somebody for the first time, you might think to yourself that that person has a large mouth, but you wouldn't say anything to them, would you? Because that would be rude, wouldn't it? Well, Mr. Rude would just blurt it out. Big nose! But he wouldn't stop there. Oh no, not Mr. Rude. Big nose! With a nose like that, you can vacuum the floor! Can you imagine saying that to someone? Well, I hope you can't. Mr. Rude was a horrible man who didn't have an IP. Anyway, and not surprisingly, no one liked him. One day, Mr. Rude met little Miss Tiny. Good morning! Look at the size of you, squirt! You're so tiny I could squish you under my thumb! Poor little Miss Tiny. She was so upset that she burst into tears and ran home. Behind the tree on the other side of the lake, Mr. Happy looked anything but happy. He had heard everything. He knew he needed to do something to sort of out Mr. Rude and his bad manners. The next morning, Mr. Happy turned out uh, turned up outside Mr. Rude's door with a suitcase in hand and knocked at the door. Go away! But Mr. Happy had no intention of leaving. He had decided that Mr. Rude needed a lesson in showing respect and using good manners. So he politely knocked on the door again, opened it, then went to sit on the sofa. Get out! But Mr. Happy just no, that's so cool. But Mr. Happy just smiled and made himself comfortable on the sofa. Mr. Rude, however, was not mine. He was jumping up and down and telling him to get out and leave him alone. This didn't seem to put off Mr. Happy, who just sat quietly on the sofa and smiled even bigger. After half an hour of ranting rain, Mr. Rude decided to go in the kitchen and make himself some dinner without offering Mr. Happy any. After dinner, Mr. Rude tried to get rid of Mr. Happy. Get out! Leave me alone! But Mr. Happy just took no notice of his shouting and screaming and just quietly sat on the sofa smiling. Finally, Mr. Rude turned off the lights and walked um, upstairs to bed without offering Mr. Bed, Mr. Happy a bed for the night. The next morning, when Mr. Rude came downstairs, Mr. Happy was still there, still smiling. Okay, I'll give in. What do you want? Breakfast would be nice, please. Mr. Rude walked into the kitchen and made breakfast for him. It was the first time that Mr. Rude had done anything nice for someone else. In fact, it was the first time that he had ever asked anyone what they wanted. Thank you. Right, now you can go. But Mr. Happy didn't budge. Mr. Rude ended up ranting and raving again. But he ended up making lunch for Mr. Happy and dinner too. And each time Mr. Happy would say please and thank you. But Mr. Root even Mr. Root even offered him a bed that night. Mr. Happy stayed for a fortnight. Slowly the ransom in the frame became less and less. Mr. Root discovered he had something that he never knew he possessed. Manners! When it was time for Mr. Happy to leave Mr. Root. When it was time for Mr. Happy to leave, Mr. Rude smiled, the biggest smile of all, and simply said two little words. Thank you. Don't forget, it is very easy to be respectful and show good manners. Just remember these four simple rules. Greet someone when they enter the room. Speak politely to others when having a conversation. Hold open a door for someone else. Remember to say please and Really well done, Year 5. Thank you very, very much. So this is our special respect assembly for the Larch this week. And I'm really grateful for everybody who acted and helped me today. Next
next week, so it's Friday afternoon at the moment when we're doing this video, and it will be Monday by the time you're all watching this. And next week we're going to have a really, really important focus in the Larch because we're asking every single child to show the best respect they possibly can. Respect to others, respect to all adults, respect to our resources and to our environment in the Larch. And there's just a few little bits that the staff and I think that we can get a little bit better at. So we'd like to remind you that you must be walking silently in our corridors, that you must be on the right side of the corridor and the right way up and down the stairs. We want to remind you to always say please and thank you, just like Mr. Rude got a little bit wrong in today's play. And we really like to see if you can earn some house points. So all of the staff at lunch times next week are going to be looking for our school values, not just respect, but all of the other values that are important, like kindness or wisdom, making wise choices. And the end of next week, the teachers too are going to be working hard to make sure that they can give as many value certificates as possible. So although we've had a fantastic start to term and you've been doing some brilliant learning behaviour in the classrooms, Next week is the first week to show us that you can get it really right all of the time. I've got one special little favour to ask you in the hall. Please make sure when you stack your trays that you look at which way they belong on the stack so that when we make a stack of trays and we pile them up, they don't fall over just after you've left. That's a tiny thing, but it makes a big difference to all of the adults that are helping in the school. So I look forward to seeing each of you, look forward to giving you lots and lots of praise for making the right choices um, and we will see you next week. Shall we say bye bye year five? Bye! bye. bye.